They decommissioned the dewatering process to pave way for the refilling of the plunge pool at the Kariba Dam. As the Kariba Dam rehabilitation project nears completion, the reshaping and refilling of the plunge pool is just one of the components being undertaken with the goal of ensuring the dam's longevity and safety. We also have the spillway refurbishment as well as support that goes towards institutional uh, strengthening, which is strengthening Zambezi River Authority and strengthening the other elements that are needed to make the project effective. Energy Minister Makozo Shikote and Zimbabwe's Energy Minister Edgar Moyo jointly commissioned the plunge for refilling, signifying a renewed hope and security as the Kariba Dam continues to stand tall, symbol of engineering excellence. A significant occasion that attests to the power of partnership. That's what it means. People may not see, but I want to state and assure our two nations that this is a long-term solution. And Mr. Moyo has expressed optimism that the rehabilitation of the Kariba Dam will enhance longevity of the dam. Take this opportunity to heartily express our gratitude to the European Union for hitting our call for assistance when disaster seemed imminent. The governments of Zambia and Zimbabwe cannot thank you enough for the mutually beneficial partnership forced through the Global Gateway Initiative that was evident in the plunge pool reshaping project. The EU, through a more than 113 million euros grant, has funded the rehabilitation and reshaping of the plunge pool. Our engagement to support the rehabilitation of the Kariba Dam is a very clear and concrete example of Global Gateway and its 150 million billion euro Africa Europe investment package, both in content and in its approach. It's a perfect illustration to Zambia and Zimbabwe and the EU how to secure access to clean, reliable and affordable energy. The World Bank, the African Development Bank and the Swedish International Development Corporation Agency are among key financiers. This milestone demonstrated how coordination and cooperation has yielded positive progress with African Development Bank, World Bank and Swede Fund financing design, planning and supervision, supervision and EU financing the implementation. The 300 million United States dollar Kariba Dam Rehabilitation Project, which is expected to be completed by 2025, will safeguard the longevity of the Kariba Dam and guarantee a continued supply of electricity in the two countries and the Southern African region. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Siavonga.